Now you play the role of Barry in Cleaner in Cleaner's. Madding. Yeah, Barry Madding. Now this this character. You, yeah, you described him a little differently earlier. Totally insane, I believe was a little bit, a little bit insane. Uh, likes to uh, he gets to uh, shoot people and kill people and and is a, kind of a lascivious guy. And he's married too, and he's got a kid and a wife, beautiful wife, and you know he's, died, he's a dog. He's a positive role model for his family. Well. <laughs> Depends on your perspective. A role model for his family. A role model for his family. He thinks he is. He thinks he is. So how do you go about preparing for uh, for a role like this? You know what? I this this sort of happened like that for me, and and I went oh, and uh, I spoke with the director uh, briefly over the phone, Paul uh, Layden, writer director, who's amazing, and uh, he just said one thing to me, which sort of locked it all in. He said, "Look, this is a great character." and just have fun with this guy, take him as far as you want, and I'll pull you back if you go too far. And that's all he had to say, and the rest, I just kind of sunk my teeth into it, and it was kind of right there for me, so. Having Paul as both the writer and director of this series, does that make it easier for you as an actor, knowing that the vision, the creative vision comes from, uh, for him from both? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, in this situation, it did, uh, you know, and so Paul was, you know, he created such a cool vibe on the set. Really, he, he's a cool guy, and he he ha, he's he's really intense, but he's cool at the same time. So and really smart, and gave his actors free, freedom and leeway to do their thing. Really, and he had a very clear vision of what he wanted for this piece because he wrote it, right? Um, so it, it was a joy working in a situation like that. And, 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 and also it was cool because if you wanted to change things, not, not, not much was changed. There was not a lot of improv, but every once in a while a little bit. And he, would, he was right there. He was the writer, so you didn't have to sort of go through channels or whatever to you know, get it approved or anything like that. You know? You've had such a fascinating career from television acting to, of course, film acting to theater. What have you found to be the most challenging in your career and what do you enjoy most between the mediums? Well, they're all different and really, and uh, theater is, is uh, a, a sort of like a marathon race because you're, you're doing it you, uh, all the time, you know, eight, eight performances a week. But you have the luxury of having the through line of the story help you through the piece. Um, filmmaking is all sporadic and go from one scene to the next and uh, front to finish to start to back to middle and so it's um, they're challenging in their own ways I love theater theater is considered an actor's medium TV is kind of a considered a producer's medium and film is, kind of, is considered kind of a director's medium but um, we all collaborate together so it's all really fun for me. I love my craft. I'll do one last question. Upcoming projects for you, sir, that we can see you in. Well, I'm working on getting stuff. I don't have anything yet. I've got a couple things. I don't like to talk about them because I don't like to jinx them until they happen. Uh, I was just in Pacific Rim. I had played the uh, UN president in that, so that was really fun working with Guillermo. And I'm just out there digging for work. Like that's what I, that's the jack the job, you know, is getting work. You know, once you get it, it's, it's gravy. We've heard so many great things about cleaners. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Enjoy the screening.